myself Kaitesha. In this session, you are going to learn unit 8, going round the earth in a day. Before going to the lesson, let me ask you some questions children. Which is our planet? Our planet is earth. Do you know earth is the third planet in solar system and earth revolves around the sun. To take complete revolution, one revolution, earth takes 365 days, that is one year. And earth rotates on its axis around the sun. To take that complete one rotation, earth takes 24 hours, that is one day. And uh, earth, the shape of the earth is round. Okay, this was proved by Ferdinand Magellan. My, you might have heard about this. So, this story was took place in Akbar's court. Okay. So, uh, who was Akbar children? Akbar was a great emperor. Okay. Uh, in olden days, king used to rule their kingdom. In the same way, Akbar was a great emperor and he used to rule his empire. So, in his court, many people come with their problems and questions. Okay. And Akbar used to solve them. He was very wise emperor. Understand, one day uh, astro an, an astrologer came to meet Akbar and he said that the shape of the earth is round. So, let's see through this story how Akbar clarified his doubt. Going to the lesson, let's read the meanings. Emperor, a supreme ruler of an empire. Astrologer, someone who studies the stars. Tunnels, passages for trains and cars through hills or underground. Distant, far away. Minister, a head of a government department. Let's read the story and understand it. Uh, all of you open page number 60 and keep finger as I read. Going round the earth in a day. Akbar was a wise and wonderful emperor. He was his people's emperor. He loved his people and his people loved him. Every day his court was full of people. Sometimes they came to tell him their problems. They trusted their emperor and knew he would be able to help them. Sometimes there was fun and laughter and music in the court. Often clever men came and discussed important things. They answered difficult questions. People learned a lot from the things they said. Look at this picture children. He was Akbar, the great emperor. His full name was Abul Fath Jalaluddin Muhammad Akbar. He was born on 15th October in the year 1542. He was the third Mughal emperor. He was born in Umar Court, India. He was the son of Himayu. He became emperor at the age of 13. At what age children? At the age of 13. He is considered to be one of the greatest ruler of India. Akbar was a wise and wonderful emperor. Wise and wonderful means he was very intelligent, clever and knowledgeable man. And uh, he, wa he was good to others. Okay, that's why he was called his people's emperor. Means he loved his people and his people loved him. Every day his court was full of people. So look at this picture children. This was the court of Akbar. They came to tell their problems and they believed their emperor. They, they having trust on their emperor and they knew he would be able to help them. Sometimes there was fun and laughter and music in the court. Means in olden days there were no television, no mobile, no internet. So how they will enjoy children? So they will keep dance, music, uh, uh, etc. in the court uh, to entertain. Okay. Often clever people come and discuss important things. They answer difficult questions. People learn 
a lot from the things they said means in akbar quotes many people will be there no children so if the clever people come and discuss important things important matters uh, so mm, the other people also learn from them one day as usual many people had gathered in the court a famous astrologer had come there from a distant country he was talking about the stars and the planets in the solar system he also talked about the shape of the earth the earth is round said the learned man let's see what happened children one day as usual many people had gathered in the court whose court akbar's court why many people had gathered their children because they heard that a famous astrologer astrologer had come there from a distant country astrologer means a person who studies stars they predict your future they tell about your future in the form of zodiac signs okay he came from a distant country distant country means far away country he was talking about the stars and the planets in the solar system you all know a solar system a solar system consists of sun and the eight planets okay so he was talking about the uh, stars and planets in the solar system as he was a astrologer with whom he was talking he was talking in akbar's court he was talking with akbar and the people who were sitting in the akbar's court he also talked about the shape of the earth what he said the what he said about the earth he was discussing the shape of the earth the earth is round he said because he was a learned man learned man means he was having a knowledge about the earth and the planets and the solar system as he was a astrologer the earth is round said akbar then if a person traveled straight and continued in the same direction he would come back to the same place isn't that so children when the emperor akbar said to the astrologer that you say the earth is round means the shape of the earth is round then if a person travels straight uh, in straight and continued uh in the same direction he would come back again in the same in direction to the same place then it doesn't matter anything said the uh, emperor akbar to to an astrologer of course said the astrologer but it would take very long time he would have to cross oceans climb mountains and go through forests if he was to follow a straight path the astrologer said of course to whom he said to the um, akbar emperor okay what he said uh, he said of course really he would come back to the same place but it take but it would take very long time means to come in to go uh, to travel in the straight path in the same direction and come back to the same place it would take very long time he would have to cross oceans climb mountains and go through the forest if if he has to follow the straight path said astrologer to the emperor of possible said the emperor he could sail across the oceans make tunnels through the mountains and travel through forest of or and on an elephant just said that of course a person can travel in the straight direction uh, he can follow the uh, straight path but it would take very long time he has to cross oceans uh, climb mountains go through tunnels and go through forest he said to the uh, emperor akbar so what emperor uh, when, what emperor akbar said children to the astrologer that it is possible a person can um, follow the straight path uh, okay he he could sail the ocean across the ocean means he can go through the uh, oceans and make tunnels means he can go through the tunnels he can pass through the tunnels tunnels are the uh, 
passages for trains and cars through hills or underground so you can see in this picture this is the tunnels so uh, a person can passes through the tunnels also okay and they can climb the mountains and they can travel through forest sitting on an elephant said the emperor akbar to to the astrologer so it doesn't matter okay it is possible a person can you know, travel uh, around the earth through uh, crossing oceans climbing mountains passing through tunnels and uh, passing through forests by sitting on an elephant said emperor to the astrologer i hope you all understood till here okay children let me ask you some questions why was akbar called in his people's emperor because his people his people came to him with their problems why did the people learn a lot when they come to akbar's court they met clever people who answer difficult questions what is important fact did the famous astrologer tell the people in the court he told them that the earth is round so children we'll continue the remaining part in the next session thank you